The UT geography professor recently named to the Federal Advisory Committee on Reconciliation in Place Names is now sharing his thoughts on changing the name of Clingman's Dome. As we've told you, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians Tribal Council recently started an effort to petition the federal government to change the name of Clingman's Dome. They want to restore that highest peak in the Smokies to its original Cherokee name, Kuwahi. Dr. Derek Alderman told us he supports this effort and believes it will help educate people uh, about the region's history in a way that's not necessarily in the history books. Changing that place name is a way of generating new discussions about what is the history of that mountain? What is the history of what happened to that mountain to lead it to being called Klingsman Dome um, rather than its original indigenous name? And what does that tell us about uh, not just history, but the responsibility that we have for the current time and the future to do justice to that name. Dr. Alderman also pointed to the mountain's current namesake, Thomas Klingman, as a reason the mountain's name should be changed. Klingman is remembered as a North Carolina senator, but according to Alderman, he was also a pro-slavery defender and a Confederate general. If you think about of all the potential names and memories and histories that we have to remember, and we should remember, uh, it should be people and ideas that actually um, embody values that we're trying to project to future generations. Earlier this month, you remember commissioners in North Carolina voted in support of the Clingman's Dome name change. We'll make sure to follow this petition as the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians Tribal Council takes it next to the federal level.